Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Sunday, March 4th at 8.57 p.m. Mountain Time 2018, bringing you an update on the state of climate science. This is coming out of Climate Central, the future of extreme cold by mid-century. They're claiming that these projections are the change in the coldest temperature of the year. Most of North America, according to Climate Central, will be 10 to 12 degrees above the current temperature. How did they get away with this nonsense? They lie. For much of the East, the U.S. Rockies, middle to late January, tends to be the coldest time of year. However, they're claiming it's getting warmer. Now let's take a look at one of their graphs. Here's New York City, for example. There's their upward linear trend because they cannot see that climate is a cycle here. Now if you drew a line from 2001 to present, it would be going straight down for New York City. Look at this. They obfuscate from the truth because they use these straight lines. Climate is not a straight line. It has never been a straight line. Let's just look at the global temperature since 1980. It goes up and down in a regular pattern. And the regular pattern is cold because the temperature has dropped over the last four months, 0.42 degrees C. Yes, that's right, 0 0.420. That's almost half a degree C. We should all celebrate. I picked another regular graph to show you the difference. This is Cleveland. They have a linear line showing it getting hotter in Cleveland, but if you start in 2000, you can clearly see the lowest temperature each year averaging colder. It depends on when you start your linear progression. If you see the cyclic nature, you will see that we are in a cold phase. So Climate Central is able to manipulate graphs and there will not be a warming of 12 degrees C over the next 10 decades. The first week of 2018 was the coldest on record in dozens of cities in the East Coast. An Arctic outbreak brought frigid, frigid temperatures late December into early January to the Midwest, East, and South. Numerous cities in the East saw the coldest first week of January ever. Not warmer temperatures. Now, Tuesday's low temperature shattered a 120-year-old record on January 1st. It's been a cold start to record-breaking temperatures of the new year. In fact, New Year's tied the record lowest high at 11 degrees. Back to 1898. This is in Ohio and Dayton. Also the snowiest start to winter. Record-breaking cold sweeps the U.S. in the first day of 2018. This is Milwaukee, Wisconsin, bone-chilling cold grip, much of the U.S. Records broken everywhere, including Aberdeen, South Dakota, where it was minus 32 degrees. And that record was broken after uh, the record had stood for 99 years. In Nebraska, temperatures hit 15 below before midnight on Sunday in Omaha, breaking that low going back to 1884. But according to Climate Central, it's getting warmer. The craziest weather records ever. This seemingly endless cold spell is breaking. New York City was 19. The old record was 24 on New Year's. Flint, Michigan broke their lowest day ever in December. Twice in two days. On December 27th, it was minus 14. The next day, it was minus 18, breaking the record back to the centennial minimum. And then on Thursday, December 28th and 30th, record lows were set across the country. The lowest was Waterton, New York at minus 32 and on and on. Savannah, Georgia, Abilene, Texas. Record low temperatures stoke chaos in the U.S. and Canada. Mount Washington, New Hampshire recorded the second coldest temperature ever on Earth on Saturday at minus 73. In Canada's temperature to pros minus 50 in Ontario and Quebec. <laughs> but it's getting warmer, according to Climate Central. So do you think you're cold? How does 88 below zero sound? We all remember this picture from this winter. And this is coming out of Yakusha, 
the town of Omiakan. It hit minus 62 C and their thermometers broke this year. Almost breaking the all-time record. But it's getting warmer, according to Climate Central. Now we can go down to the south. Baton Rouge, New Orleans shattered its record low temperatures on Wednesday, January 16th. But it's getting warmer, according to Climate Central. Now also coming out here, we have climate deniers. That's you guys. That's us. Climate denier blogs are ignoring sea ice and polar bear science, study finds. Well, the study is fraudulent because there is more sea ice than ever in the Arctic currently and not a single polar bear is freezing. In fact, in 40% of the Arctic, the ice is too thick for polar bears to hunt. So it has nothing to do with lack of ice. It's a crock. But here, Susan Crockford is telling us that polar bears keep thriving. Alarmists keep pretending that they're dying. This is coming out this week. Thank you, Susan. This is a zoologist, and she believes in global warming. And that's the amazing thing about this article. She's telling the global warming alarmists, like herself, to stop fear-mongering about the polar bears. Because they said that 15,000 polar bears were going to die in the next decade. And guess what? Polar bear populations are at all-time highs. In fact, the UINC Red List report for 2015 estimated polar bear numbers somewhere between 22,000 and 31,000. Or 26,000, which is up from 22,000 10 years ago after the alarmist said that 10,500, over half the population, were going to die. These alarmists are full of shite. None of their predictions have come true. Zero. None. Zero of their predictions have come true. And they're holding on to decades-old lies while the information is right out in front of the public. And 80% of the sheep that you know, the ones who aren't listening to you about the coming cold, they think that polar bears are dying. They think that this graph shows that we're getting hotter when it actually shows us getting colder in Cleveland. They think that the global temperatures are in a straight-up hockey stick when they've been dropping for months. They've been dropping since 2016 like a plank. From this high... The global temperature has dropped 0.7 degrees C. And that's in two years. And those are the facts. You want to talk about Greenland ice? Here's the current ice situation. And let's just... Oh, my dear. Let's take this animation back. And you can see that there is no catastrophic ice loss. Here's 2015. <clears throat> Let's jump over to the Greenland ice sheet. This is just for fun. Look what happened in the last week. We have new record levels of ice for 2718, well above the 2016-17 mean, and even well below, because that was a record year. Well below the 30-year mean. It's well above the 30-year mean and even above 2011, 2012. So you can see, I showed you the other day that the Greenland ice sheet put on 12 gigatons of ice in a single day back on February 24th. And here the Arctic ice thickness. You can see this is current ice thickness, very thick. These areas in Russia are over five meters thick. The ice in the islands here over five meters thick. Thinner last year at the same time, thinner in 2016 at the same time, thinner in 2015. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. They're lying to you. Share Alarmist this video. They cannot deny the facts. Be safe, everybody.